Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to go through another worked example to find the reactions which is a bit different to the example we had in the last video. If you haven't watched that video already, I recommend you to go back and watch that before you carry on watching this video. In this example we have a beam A, B, C, D. It has a pin support at point A and a roller support at point C. It carries two point loads which are also known as concentrated loads of 15 kN each and a uniformly distributed load UDL of 2 kN per meter over the right hand half of the beam as shown in the figure. Find the reactions. We start with a free body diagram. As I mentioned in the last video, a free body diagram is important because it represents the reactions and also the beam. At point A, because we have a roller support, therefore we have two reactions. The first one is acting horizontally and we call it HA after the point A and also the second one act vertically we call it VA. Similarly at point C because we have a roller support therefore we will have only one reaction force which act vertically and we call it VC. We put back the point load as they are 15 kilonewton here and another 15 kilonewton here and also we put back the UDL as it is. We start the solution by finding HA. If you look at the free body diagram we could see that we have three unknowns therefore we could use the three equations of equilibrium. To determine HA the sum of horizontal forces must equal zero. Since we don't have any forces acting horizontally, HA equals zero. To find VC, we take moment about point A. Please note, the moment of the UDL is the resultant total UDL load, which is 2 times 3 equals 6 kN, multiplied by the distance from A to a line of action of that resultant, which is 4.5. In other words, this distance from here to here which is 3 meter plus half of this distance of the UDL and that is 3 divided by 2 which is 1.5 so 3 plus 1.5 that would be 4.5 the sum of moment at A must equal 0 and also we have to remember the notations clockwise is positive, anti-clockwise, negative, upward, positive, downward, negative. 15 kN, since acting downward, therefore plus 15 times the distance, 2 meter from A, minus VC multiplied by the distance which is 4 meter because it's acting anti-clockwise it's negative plus the UDL 2 times the distance which is 3 meter multiplied by the distance from A to the line of action of the UDL, 3 meter, plus half of the distance of the whole UDL, so 3 plus 1.5, that would be 4.5, plus 15, multiplied by 6, which is this UDL acting clockwise, multiplied by the total distance 6 meter equal 0. 15 times 2, 30 minus 4 VC plus 27 plus 15 times 6, 90. If you plug that into the calculator, that should give you VC equal 36.75 
kilonewton and that is positive because it's acting upward as you could see from here next since we found vc we could easily find va now by saying the sum of all vertical forces should be zero plus va because it's acting upward minus this 15 kilonewton because it's acting downward plus vc acting upward minus the udl two times three minus 15 kilonewton acting downward equal zero va minus 15 plus the value of vc which we found down here 36.75 minus 2 times 3 6 minus 15 equals 0 va minus we add all the negative values that should give us 36 plus 36.75 we could see that VA equals 0 0.75 negative. It's acting downward. To check all the values we found, we take moment about point C. The sum of all moment must equal zero. VA multiplied by four, which is VA times the distance here, two plus two, four, minus 15 kilonewton acting downward, the point load, 15 times the distance, two meter, there's two meter here, plus the UDL, two times the distance, three, this time we multiply by half of this distance, from the line of action of the UDL to the C point, which is half of one, that would be 0 0.5 plus 15 kilonewton acting clockwise positive, 15 times the distance from here to point C, two meters, must equal zero. We found the value of VA minus 0 0.75 multiply by 4 minus 15 times 2 30 plus 2 times 3 times 0 0.5 that should give us 3 plus 15 times 2 30 these two cancel out each other minus 0 0.75 multiply by 4 equal minus three cancel out each other equals zero we could see that all the values are correct this will bring us to the end of this video please leave your comments below and remember to subscribe share like and hit the bell to get all the latest videos see you in the next video